Slim Thug talks about maintaining income in order to fulfill your dreams. Nobody should just have one hustle anyway. That's what you got to do. You got to already, whatever you're doing, if you're just doing one thing, you ain't doing enough, kid. You got to balance the shit out. You got to have some shit for one shit be fucked up. Ain't nothing trustworthy in this world these days. Anything can go bad at any time. The niggas who dump all that shit in the, like it who dumped all his money in the stocks, they jumping off a building right now. They jumping they self right now because that's all they did. You got to do more than one thing, kid. You got to have at least three hustles, at least. I say seven if you want to be successful. Three just to survive because it's real like a... Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's really real out here. So, yeah, man. If you got a good job right now, if you're in a position, make sure you setting up your other hustles, man. You got to have you some stocks. You got to have you a real estate investment. You got to have a real job, what you naturally really do every day. You know what I'm saying? And you need to be investing in a friend. You need to try to find somebody else you really believe in. Try to invest in them and get you a little side pay. You know what I'm saying? If you can help pay for something make a little change off of it and that, that makes sense too you know what i'm saying yeah but that's how you do it you gotta do more than one thing or you out of there in this world it's, it ain't nothing everything too janky one thing you one year you next year you ain't you can't can't depend on one thing you can't appreciate these people either man these jobs they'll get rid of as like nothing for a new motherfucker if who, who want less money you know what i'm saying good morning niece yeah, so yeah, that's what you gotta do, man. Bill. Bill, you know what I'm saying? Bill. Man, people be playing. I was thinking about something uh, earlier when I be smoking. I be just thinking, you know. Moments is crazy, man. You go back and look in your phone, like, you got some pictures in that motherfucker, some videos in that motherfucker. That shit was like so fun at the time. That shit was amazing. But you ain't gonna never see that shit again. Like, You'll never be with them group of people again. You'll never uh, have that same moment again. You know what I'm saying? Because shit change every day, every month, every week, every year. Yeah, shit change, man. You got to cherish the moments. I just realized. I was like, damn, man. That shit was loud in the mouth. That should have never happened again. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, man, y'all cherish y'all moments with y'all people, y'all friends, family, everybody, because you get older. The little brothers and sisters, like, um, your brothers and sisters who get on your nerves so much, one day you're going to rarely see them other. I don't never see my brothers and sisters no more. You know what I'm saying? You get older, everybody got their own life, create their own families, corona come around, slow family functions up, you don't see your people at all. Shit fucked up. So, you know what I'm saying? Cherish those moments. Cherish that you got your family, your, your little brother and sister, and, you know, big brothers and, you know, everybody around you right now because that shit changed. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Relationships, friendships, all that shit switch up, man, over the years. Motherfuckers move. You know, everybody got to gotta go to work. People got shit to do, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit change. So, you know what I'm saying? Cherish those moments with your loved ones. Appreciate them times. You know what I'm saying? Take pictures, videos, all that shit, man. Keep that shit. Like, my Instagram is a big-ass uh, journal for me. Everybody want to be so private. I don't give a fuck about being private. I care about being 60 and being able to go look at all that shit when I'm bored at home and nobody ain't pulling up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Instagram need to give me my old Instagram back because I had some badass memories. I don't even got that shit in my phone, man. I lost the pictures. They need to give me that shit on strictly journal purposes. But yeah, man, I ain't no private because I want to be able to see this shit. I want to be 60, 70 years old at the crib board as looking at them old videos I made with them badass women. I'd have had some bad chicks too in my life. I'd have had some bad chicks that, uh, ended up, you know, being nice, you know, doing a lot of good shit, man. It's amazing, you know what I'm saying? You go look at them old movies, you go look at them old times, uh, vacations. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? 
That's what it's about, man. We got these phones and shit now. That's what you got to make use of. You got to make use of that shit. I got a whole little body book of all you bad motherfuckers. Y'all. Yeah, I got a body book of you bad motherfuckers. Yeah, my shit lit too. I got a badass body book. Badass bitches in my body book. I'm, I put my whole little journal together for when I'm, I'm old. I'm going to be having a whole bunch of shit to just sit back, smoke my and just look at it like, damn, we was turning up, kid. Remember this shit? I do that shit right now, though. I go motherfucking talk. You got to think about it. That's 2022. I was the shit in 03. Think about that. That's 20 years ago. 2003 is when Steel Tipping dropped. That's when, like, Houston took over the fucking world. Like, that was like our days. You know what I'm saying? For real. That was 20 fucking years ago, man. Think about that shit. 20 fucking years ago. That was 03. It's 2022. God damn. I was the shit back then. So just imagine how many of y'all mamas I smashed like on the road and shit. Like how many of y'all follow me that I done knocked off your mama, your auntie, your girlfriend, your wife, you know, all that shit, man. Just, you know, being a rapper, sliding in them towns. Y'all don't consider that shit. I ain't gonna tell on you, boo. Don't trip. I don't trip. I ain't gonna never bring it up. It's just for me and my body book memories. But yeah, man. OG go back, man. And then I'm at a great age right now. Well, I'm at I'm 40, so I can kind of go like 25, 45, 50. You know, I can kind of go. You know what I'm saying? Either way with this shit, like it's just a good thing. Young girls, I don't want to talk to them too much. I don't want to kick it with them too much. I don't want to be seen too much. I don't want to look too crazy. So here, boo, you can take this here. You gonna give you this, this sugar daddy? That one sugar daddy kick in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, this shit crazy though, man. That shit crazy, man. Kids, young kids, young fellas out there, man, you got a lot to look forward to, man. Just stay real, stay alive, stay free. You got a lot of good shit to look forward to, man, if you could just stay, you know what I'm saying, out here. <clears throat> so quit being in a hurry to get everything right now. It's who, uh, the real bosses is like 50 plus on the cool. That's who got the real bread because they figured it out a lot already. So yeah, be patient with your uh, hustle, man. It's gonna come together. It's gonna come together one day, man. <clears throat> but yeah, that shit crazy. I be thinking about that shit like, damn. This chick here, 25. I probably smashed up mama back in the gap when I was in the 90s at Chocolate Town or some shit. You know what I'm saying? It's Houston. It's like, it ain't that big. The circle is small. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you party, you party with the same kind of groups of people, man. It's crazy, man. Yeah, you gotta have that good-ass routine. That's that's what creates success. A good-ass routine, man. A good-ass daily routine where you get your, your everything you need. You get your, you, you read your, you know what I'm saying, Bible, whatever you do to get your spiritual uplifting. Because you gotta have that side of it. Then you do the, um, then you gotta do the uh, physical. You gotta do what I'm doing right now. Pull up to the park or the gym, whatever you prefer. You know what I'm saying? Get your workout in. Go to work. Get your bread right. You know what I'm saying? Go to work. Get your bread right. But do bigger than just work. You gotta have some, you know, uh, a vision board of shit you chasing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta still chase shit. You gotta have some shit that you want. You know what I'm saying? And like you working for that got you excited. Some shit that gets you going. Man, I need to with this. I want this. I want that. Yeah, you gotta chase something. Stay alive, man. I hear, man. Don't give up. Don't just start dying. Don't be just a walking zombie around this month. Mad at the world. Thanks for tuning in to NIMAG TV.